Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Leif's Tale, almost said dusk but I didn't. Uh, we're back at the bodies, we've collected everything else that we possibly could and we're actually maxed out on our volume currently as to what we can be bringing with us. So we're going to head back with what we have so far, I uh, perhaps brought too much cooked meat with us, we didn't need to have as much as we did. Uh, but we should be able to make it back without too much trouble, but then there is the giant wasp. And uh, where exactly are you, giant wasp? You're off there to the corner. Okay, so let's make sure that we actually do go back down to the shoreline and walk along that. Because that seems to be the safest route for us to travel so far. Um, we aren't going to kill anything else along the way, unless we do see a deer or something of the like. Because obviously, uh, the more fur we can get. We also are looking for fat as well. That's something that we're going to need. Um, you know, the ability to make tallow is going to be quite useful for us. Oh, for a second then we were actually feeling okay, but we've gone back to being chilly. It doesn't seem to take too long for that to happen at all. But uh, we should be able to just go straight up here and be onwards towards our home. Nice and easy. There we go. There's a tree in the way. Brilliant. Okay. All right. So we have a few bits and pieces that we're going to want to drop off here. Uh, pretty much everything's going to go up the top for now. Um, let's see. We shall be dropping off the wild vegetables that we picked up along the way. The offal will probably drop on where we are. The heroin can go up there for the time being. And pretty much everything else as well. So the paper, uh, the spike, and those rags. So the rags that we, we are actually going to want to try and disassemble them. Um, let's have some more clean water. We're going to need to do something about that eventually as well. Um, and how many rocks did we get? We got four on that little journey then. Um, I don't know how much we have in total. We definitely don't have 40, because 40 is what we're actually after here. Uh, let's see, rock, and we're wanting to search all around us. Oh, really? We just have the four that are up there. Well, that could be a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, that sucks. That's no good. Um, we still are looking at making that hand axe as well. Um, we just don't quite have the... Uh, well, we're, we're kind of on our way to being good enough to be able to do it. I feel like we just need to get that fabrication skill a little bit better before we can confidently make that. But, uh, I mean, we're getting there. Hey, look, our throwing skill is at 60%, so that's been going up as well. So, could be worse, could be worse. But now that we are back and that we have... Um, well, the offal we are going to do something with eventually, but I think what I'm going to want to try and do is grab one of those uh, rags and try and disassemble it, see if we can take it apart. So we're just going to take one for the time being. Uh, it does take an hour to disassemble a rag, though, is the only issue. So as we can see, we're going to get 100, but it is going to take an hour of the day to be able to do that. But luckily enough, it didn't seem to take all that long. And being inside here is uh, making us just that little bit warmer. So we should have 100 bits of three. We've got 114 bits of three down there now. So with that, we should be able to make some more things under armor. And as you can see, yes, we can. We can build a whole heap of different things. Uh, interestingly enough, we can make a simple patchwork scarf, which is something that I think we are going to need. Uh, it's using quite a few of our rags that we have. Uh, but then we obviously, as you can see, we have these other bits and pieces, leg warmers, foot rags, arm warmers. Uh, having those would be great. But I think for the time being, everything seems to be relatively warm, bar our hands and our face. Like our face is getting really, really cold. So I think protecting that is going to be worthwhile. And I think this scarf is going to help us out. Uh, it is going to use four of our rags to be able to do it. It only takes 10 minutes though. And it is going to help improve our tailoring skill, which is also good. Uh, we can make a towel. That's cool, but not super necessary. We can also make a pouch as well. And that's using six rags. Okay, so it is a makeshift bag cobbled together from rags, really gets in the way, but provides a decent amount of storage. Um, does it? 2.5 liters. The encumbrance is 10 and it's worn around the waist. So it's essentially a pouch that you'd have in your waist. So it's not, I mean, it's not super encumbering, but I guess it could be better, right? Um, Okay, so if we're going to do this, I think we are going to make a simple patchwork scarf, but at the same time, I do, I did want to check out that bag at the same time. So containers is what I think we want to go to. So let's go across to containers, canvas bag, ah, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, actually, maybe we don't have everything we need to be able to make, hmm, I thought we did. 
Uh, so if I search for pack, oh, okay, interesting. I swear we had everything we needed to do it. Or was it a knapsack? Yeah, makeshift knapsack. Okay, all right, so, ah, okay, so it's not thread, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, but as you can see from this, we get five liters of storage for 10 encumbrance, and that's on our torso, it's strapped. Um, so it's, I feel like that's a bit better. It doesn't mean losing one of our pair of uh, cargo pants. I'm actually okay with that, but we do need string to be able to do it. Um, either six small strings or one long string. So if I was to jump in here and see what it takes to make string, we can't actually make string at all. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's not really an option unless we, oh, here we go. I spelt it wrong. Uh, so yeah, that's no, that's gonna take a lot of thread to be able to do that. I think we would be better off just trying to get withered plants again. That didn't seem to take all that long. Um, and how, we should still have some left over. Unfortunately, one of those stomachs has rotten. It's gonna happen, that's unfortunate, but we already have at least three sealed stomachs now. We have two small ones and one large one from memory. So if we do a search all around us, we are going to search for, um, what am I searching for? My brain is starting to go again. It's the heat, I swear it's just the heat in here. Um, yeah, the New Zealand summer is a lot hotter than normal, although it's nothing compared to what Australia is going through at the moment. They've got some pretty serious heat. Uh, okay, so it's withered plants I was looking for. I just needed to see them again. So if we just search for plant, uh, we've only got three right now, but we can get a lot more. Um, we have the space to do so. We don't need to have all of that meat on us. Let's have one and let's just drop the rest for the time being. Okay, so, um, is that bee or wasp still to the north of us? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Good to know. So we're just going to leave that doing its own thing. And we're going to come back down here where we were scavenging these bushes and smashing them before. Uh, I don't know whether or not using the knife spear here is probably the best thing to do, but, uh, I guess it could be worse. I just don't want to damage the knife spear that much. But that's pretty much exactly what I'm going to end up doing here. Um, the, a lot of the wild vegetables, what I might end up doing to stop them from actually going off is just using the stems so that we can actually replant them. There we go, with the plant. Because then uh, we'll actually be able to cultivate them. I mean, like, that's obviously our first step here is to try and work our way into agriculture. That's going to take a little while for us to get there. But eventually it's going to be warm enough for us to actually plant things. And uh, once that time is there, we want to plant pretty much as much as humanly possible. Uh, and that's something that we can during, do during the night time as well. We don't need to be able to see to be able to do that. Okay, check you, check you and you. Okay, nothing. So just start smashing again. There we go. Uh, no, that's what we're after. Perfect. Go grab both of them. All right, actually check it before we smash it. So I'm pretty sure we need 12 again. We've got eight at the moment, so a few more will do the trick. Grab the newspaper. Oh, excellent, some rhubarb as well, perfect. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get the stems from the rhubarb. Must be close now. Just a bit more smashing. Okay. Weathered plant, what are we at? We're at 10, we know that we have, uh, I think at least three more at home, but we're just gonna do this last little lot of them okay that's good nice we're actually getting a few here good grab the two and grab those okay so that should be all that we need so we're going to start heading on back to base okay uh, I'm going to have to start creating a list of things that we're doing in this otherwise I'm going to lose track it is very very easy to lose track in this game and become sidetracked but uh we're just going to try and see if we can make that now. I'm not sure what it was under. Um, sack, knapsack. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. So it is going to use a pair of cargo pants. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the pair of cargo pants that I don't... Yeah, so we're going to take off those ones there, the ones that's actually bound to see. So we're going to go ahead and drop those on the ground. Um, we do drop several other items because they were using... They were giving us a little bit of storage there. Uh, so let's go back. We want to go sack. Boom. Okay, it's gonna take, it's only gonna take 48 seconds, but, uh, oh, the difficulty is zero. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna use the one nearby, 
and just like that we have a makeshift knapsack so we should be able to go ahead and wear that perfect so we've now got that on our back and we can go ahead and drop the bindle that we're carrying at the moment that is going to drop as you can see our volume drops down a fair amount there uh i thought we were meant to well i guess we're getting five from the um makeshift knapsack so it's okay something that we're going to want to try and make eventually is um i'm actually going to grab that bindle to see if we can disassemble it uh we want to we're going to want to try and make some pouches eventually uh we can disassemble it we get four rags back from this fingers crossed yes brilliant so we actually did get rags back from that yes that's really really good for us okay drop those uh drop all of the vegetables and the rhubarb as well brilliant okay good so we've got some rags there to play with now um they're still relatively rare things though so we need to be careful with what we do with them our stockings that's tempting um yeah, I'm, I'm having trying to have a look and see what... Oh, light gloves. Now, that's that's definitely tempting because the leather hand wraps that we have at the moment, they don't really do too much for us at all. We can see that this is going to give us a warmth of 20, which is... It's not terrible. It's it's better than what we had, though. Uh, the leg warmers, they're tempting to have as well. So we can see that those give us 20. The stockings have more coverage, but they don't have as much warmth. Yeah. Uh, I haven't actually made the simple patchwork scarf yet. I think that's still something that we need to do. Uh, the turban, though, that's also tempting, but it's going to use quite a few rags to be able to do it. I don't think that's going to be worth it. Um, tempted by the pouch? I guess the question is, how many rags do we have around us? If we know that, then we can get an idea of what we have to actually work with. Uh, okay, so we got 11 rags, so that's actually pretty good but it's obviously still limiting at the same time though we need to be careful what we use them for um but at the same time we can disassemble things and get those back i think that's worth it i think it's worth trading for rags for that scarf it's going to give us some warmth in our mouth which is better than nothing so we're going to go ahead we are going to craft this and boom just like that we get it done so we do have the bandana on at the moment which is prof it's providing some warmth to our mouth but uh, if we go ahead and chuck that on as well the simple patchwork scarf that should definitely help us out so uh that should be over mouth okay i think i want to go with that being on the inside leave the bandana on the outside uh this is worn over so actually let's do it the other way around and we can activate it to loosen it or tighten it i think it is ca it's counted as being tight right now and yeah our mouth is actually pretty warm um it's also got a little it's only a little bit of encumbrance so i'm actually pretty happy with that it's good 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 um all, all all round our encumbrance is actually looking really really good especially after losing that bindle it's given us a lot more freedom and um we still have some carrying capacity as well so nothing to scoff at let's go drop those withered plants off and while we're here let's just check on our skills and see how we're doing nothing's too close to leveling leveling up at the moment um fabrication is still down low tailoring is obviously still down low as well those are things that we're going to need to essentially try and work on by making some basic things and disassembling them stuff actually now that i think about it making things like socks i'm pretty sure we can disassemble the socks afterwards and get some things back from but maybe not actually hang on the hand wraps we can disassemble foot rags similar kind of thing as well we get six rags back from that so we could attempt to do that that's uh that's a possibility I guess what I'm going to do is see um, see what because we don't actually have any socks on at the moment but when it gets cold I'm going to see what we can actually well what is getting the coldest our head is definitely still cold as well so it would be, it would be nice to have something covering that so if we go into here um, if I was to make something for our head it would be something like the knit hat or no we're not going to be able to do that um, if we had that we'd be able to but duct tape is harder to come by wool scarf fur scarf straw hat um piles of straw that would be, i mean it'd be great to have or birch barks five birch barks okay that's uh that's that's tempting birch bark that's going to come from a birch tree but what does a birch tree look like in this that's an oak tree okay all right the birch bark it should be white correct me if i'm wrong but it should be like a white tree or at least white ish uh, my knowledge of these trees isn't super amazing, but um, I'll see if I can spot one out. 
Mostly seeing oak around here. There is a pine tree in the distance. Always good to get those pine boughs. Boughs, pine boughs, pine boughs, pine boughs. <laughs> I'll get there. Okay, there we go. So it looks like we've got one down there. I'm pretty sure that's a birch tree. So if we go down there, is this the birch tree? It is, in fact, a birch tree. Okay, we've got two birch bark. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's try and strip some birch bark uh, from the surrounding area. Um, I don't think that they're all on the outside. I guess that was just a little easier for me to see then. Um, I guess it's kind of like the pine trees. They, they, they're in here, but they are sparse. It looks like they are spread out in this forest at the moment, so we're not finding too many of them. Um, let's see, I am just having to look around my microphone as well, which is kind of sitting just slightly above me right now. Uh, let's have a little wander around here. So we are seeing some willow trees as well. Okay. That's a, that's a maple tree, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it is. So good for us to remember when it does come towards early winter, we're going to want to be tapping those for maple syrup. Um, or what will eventually turn into maple syrup. Wow, really? Only one birch, birch tree. I think I just did, yeah, there's one up the top there. Okay, so let's go have a scout for that. Okay, this is getting kind of dangerously close to where that wasp is, though, is the only thing. Okay, um, did we need five or was it four? We'll stay out here just for a little bit longer. Do we still have the knife spear? Yes, we do. We're actually wielding it. Oh, it's been damaged. Crap. See, that's the danger of using it to... Um, smash things with because um it is going to get damaged over time that sucks that's why i think having the hand axe might have been better something that we still need to try and make um i'm not seeing any no that's the one that we've already been to okay so i'm going to make my way a little bit further across the swamp now See if I can spot any. I don't imagine us seeing many by a swamp. I imagine that we'd be seeing them more in the forest. Uh, but there's the rock, so we definitely need to grab that. Um, yeah. I'd like one more, if that's possible. If you could give us one more game, I'd be very, very happy with that. I'm going to go down and grab this paper, just because we're, we're nearby it. Grab the newspaper and see if there's anything in here at the same time. Okay, seeing pine trees. Lots of pine trees now that we don't need them as much. I mean, they're still definitely, we need them, but uh, we don't need them as much as we did before. Um, hmm, it's frustrating. Just one more birch tree. There we go, there we go, over by the crash, okay. All right, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Okay, giant bee, southeast, noted. Pick the birch tree. Okay, it was just one. I, I sincerely hope that's enough. We're just going to go straight back across the swamp now. Get through here ASAP, grab those plants, because why not? Six withered plants? Hell yes. Why did I leave that there? Ah, uh, he's to the north. Okay. Okay, he's still to the north. Good to know, good to know, good to know. We just don't want that wasp to come down, because if he does, then it's, uh, it's just not very good for us at all. It is bad, bad news. Okay, so birch box. So let's go back into armor and we'll go to head. Straw hat, brilliant. Okay, so we can actually make one. Fantastic, 20 minutes. Difficulty, ah, uh, there's a chance we could fail this. I really hope that we don't. It helps keep the sun out of our eyes, brilliant. Do it, yes, and we didn't fail. Fantastic, and it fits as well. And just like that, we have our little straw hat on. Brilliant, so we're a little bit more wrapped up. We're feeling good, we're feeling fine. I'm uh, I'm definitely happy about that. Nice work, very, very nice work. Okay, so the sweatshirt is in very, very bad condition. It's about to break any moment now. I don't think we're gonna be able to repair that uh, anytime soon at all. Um, having a look at this, I think what I need to try and do is sort out our things so that we have tools just to the, the top of us and resources on the side. I haven't really been doing that as of yet and it's something that we need to do otherwise it's going to become uh, I guess a little bit more complicated for me to figure out where everything is. So to the north of us should just be tools and right now that isn't the case. So rocks we're going to move and we want to move those over to the northwest 
but the Northwest has a filter on it right now. So turn the filter off, that's fine. Okay, yes, so these are all tools. The food, uh, the food should actually be sitting on the square that we are on right now. So go ahead, put food down there. Um, the drugs, the drugs, could they go with tools? I guess they could go in their own little separate place up here. So drugs, they can go up there. Other, other, I, that's also part of resources. It's not food, so it's going to go up the top here. Yes. Moving, moving, moving. Uh, all seeds should be going down the bottom. Like that. There we go. And these are resources as well. Okay, so having a look at the other spaces, like the one that we're on right now, we do want to move these uh, pointy stick, yes, knitting needles. Uh, okay, those are all resources. So the burnt, the badly burnt stick needs to go down with the rest of the other sticks. Actually, you know what, it could just go into the fireplace. That's fine. Uh, tools, no, but resources, yes. We're going to go ahead and put those up there. Same with these other bits and pieces as well. Just so that uh, we actually know where things are going to be. It's going to make things a lot easier for us, or at least it should do. So we've got some clean water down there, which I think is just on the floor, and some salt water. I think we're going to have those on the same square as us here. Cured pelt, I think we're going to actually leave on that square, just so that we can actually see it. Good, it's a little bit more organized now. So that's where our drugs are kept, that is all of our tools. Excellent. So the bone needle we're going to take, and I am going to reload that with some thread. Reload. Okay. And now we're going to see if we can activate that bone needle. Have a look at the sweatshirt, see what the chances are. So we are not able to do it. We are only going to damage it. And that's probably going to be the same story with everything that we have. Yep. The success chance is absolutely zero. No surprises. Um, what about something that is already okay? The success of trying to reinforce something is there, but we're going to waste resources working on that. So, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to grab that and unload it. And we're going to drop it back over this way here. So, dropping the bone needle and dropping the thread over that side, along with the newspaper. Okay, well, it's disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. Drop the rock there as well. Okay, but I want to jump back into this and just see if there is anything else that we can make right now. I do want to have another go at the hand axe. Um, and I'm not going to worry about making anything else right this second, just because obviously our rags are limited, so yeah. Um, so the, the, the canvas bags, it looks like we can store dried herbs in them. So I don't know if it's something that we can seal or what the story is with those canvas bags. It could be something that we keep vegetables in over time. Not sure. Not sure on that one. Yeah. Um, I think I would like to make the mortar and pestle. It only takes us six minutes to make. It does use some of those rocks that we had, but it is going to improve our fabrication skill by making it. And it is another tool that we're going to need. So I think we're going to make this, we're going to make the hand axe at the same time. And I'm feeling pretty good about doing that. So let's go ahead, mortar and pestle. Let's see if it's possible and brilliant. Yes, it is. Uh, so that's going to be something that we are able to use in a number of different, uh, I guess you'd say herbal uh, medicines, perhaps. So it's a simple combination of a small grindstone and a bowl shaped stone used for grinding grain, but a time consuming. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a time consuming way to grind things, but it is a start at the very least. And we'll go ahead and drop that off over there. And how did that improve our fabrication? 13%. Well, it's something at the very least. Okay, so with that being done, let's see. Uh, hand axe is what's next. So makeshift axe, obviously we can make that, but I think I'm going to want to go for the hand axe just because it does have wood sawing on it and we don't have anything else that can do wood sawing yet. And it's just, a, it's just an all-round usable tool. Um, we might end up wasting a rock in this, but I think that's okay. We don't waste any materials. That's okay. So we just wasted time. That's all right. Okay. All right. We failed again, but we didn't waste any materials. Are we getting any better at fabrication? No, we're not. I think you do need to succeed. Um, it's too cold. That's fine. Okay. Well, we are getting hungry. So let's have some of that cooked meat that we've got. Um, yep. Because that's still, it spoils in a day. So we'll go ahead and have it. Have another one if we can. Perfect. We are going to have to do another batch of water tonight, I think, but uh, it'll be good to, to get a whole heap of that done. 
Okay, uh, right, no, so we'll just go ahead and repeat. We can't see to craft. Okay, so we are going to have to go ahead and get this fire started. Um, let's see, can we activate the fire drill? There we go. Go ahead and get that started. Just save our lighter because we can. Um, that's badly burnt right now, but I think it'll it'll go for it. Oh, I was going to say it was it'll go for a little while, but it went long enough for us to actually build the hand axe. So we now have it. Brilliant. So we can actually cut down trees with that. I think basic, the small trees, we can't do anything too large, but that's what we're going to have the makeshift axe for. With this, we have wood sawing, we have cutting, we have hammering. I think having the wood sawing is going to help us make a number of different things that we couldn't make before. Um, we can make a makeshift funnel, okay, from the gallon jug. Um, we don't really need it because we have such a large wa water source by us, but, you know, it's, uh, I guess it's semi-tempting. I'm half tempted to make the handmade holy symbol, um, but at the same time, I don't know. Oh, it actually does use the withered plant, so no, no, they're, no, they're, they're, they're more valuable to us right now. Um, I would be tempted to try and make some traps, or at least start attempting to do some trapping. Um, now, my question is, okay, so it's used to craft a light snare kit. So I think we'll give this a go. We are going to have to put some more wood on the fire. I can't remember for the life of me if it's okay for us to put two on, so I am just going to be putting one on for the time being. Um, we have the fire drill on us. Okay, get that started. And let's go ahead and have a look at the snare then. Snare trigger. One heavy stick. That's okay. And we make a snare trigger just like that. Okay, so now if I search for snare, Light snare kit. Okay, so we we also need 12 withered plants to be able to do that. Okay, but as you can see, this is a kit for a simple trap consisting of a string noose and a snare trigger. It requires a young tree nearby. It is effective at trapping and killing some animals. Okay, so I don't know whether or not it actually traps an animal nearby or if one will like spawn in there after a while. I'm not sure what the case is there or if we need to like leave bait of some kind I actually have no idea how that works because I've never really done trapping or at least animal trapping in Cataclysm So it might be something that just works over time Don't know about that, but we do need some more withered plants to be able to do it. Otherwise, uh, what were our other options with that? Piles of straw unlikely or strings and strings just take so long to make it is just more beneficial for us to go for the withered plants um, and having a look at this we have oh we're so close we have 11 why do we have so many I made everything that I wanted to make when I got back right at least I think I did maybe I forgot no we yeah yeah we made our hat okay so we actually don't need that much more at all so you know what we are just gonna sacrifice one that's nearby I don't want to use the knife spear so we're gonna go ahead and wield our Hand axe for the time being, storing the other one in there, and we're going to use the hand axe to smash these bushes quickly. Two pieces. Go ahead and grab that. Okay, I don't think we're going to do any more than that because I don't want to draw the wasp down here. But we are probably going to wield the uh, the knife spear again, though. I don't think I can repair the knife spear at least easily. Uh, mm, not like this, I can't. Yeah, it needs a basic repair kit and resinous cord is probably easier for us to I don't know if we could disassemble it but it's probably easier just to make a new one really I mean yeah it's actually made from a badly burnt heavy stick I didn't realize that <laughs> that's funny it's probably not that that good but it doesn't seem to affect it it seems to be perfectly fine it has no has no problem with that at all um, okay so light snare kit there we go brilliant so we're gonna go ahead and create that's gonna take five minutes uh, cannot see to craft because the fire has gone out yet again. Okay, this is why I want those rocks I want those rocks so badly so that we don't have to worry about this anymore because it is a pain Okay, so going across to there again light snare kit BAM done brilliant. So if we go across to a, a, a Young tree that'll be nearby. So like this young tree here if we go activate uh snare kit place you cannot place the snare kit there that is a young tree it does say it wants a young tree right maybe it's just buy it uh, right a young tree nearby so if you go activate and we place it there you set the snare trap great now I wonder if I can drop 
like a little bit of food there if that will actually help. Um, we're gonna go back and grab just a tiny bit of food. Um, maybe just some rhubarb or one of the just one wild vegetable fresh that we have there. We'll go and drop that. Okay. Hopefully not setting the trap off. Okay, great. All right, well, we're going to leave it and we'll see what comes of it. There is a chance that we might actually be able to get something out of that. I'd be very, very happy if that's the case. If not, what can you do? Um, okay, so jumping into this. It's been a while since I've had a look at construction. Um, I want to have a look again at what we're going to need to build some of the racks. So like the smoking rack, for example. No, rack. Okay. Um, so let's see, we have soaring of one now, which is great. So we just need 16 heavy sticks or two by fours and eight rocks. So the smoking rack could be really good for us to have. We would need to have charcoal. So we, we'd need to build the charcoal uh, kiln as well first, uh, which is a little bit more, mm, yeah, yeah, 40 rocks. So it requires 40 rocks as well as our fireplace. Uh, the fireplace I think is more of a priority right now if what what we ideally need to try and do is come up with a way for us to be able to get these rocks easier and that is going to be by trying to smash these smaller boulders um, although in saying that I'm wondering what we're going to be able to do that with now if I have a look at this and go to bashing what can we make that has the most amount of bash makeshift crowbar has 12 Homewrecker has 28, which is obviously really good, but we're not going to be able to build that anytime soon. Actually, you know what? We could build this. Oh, no, we can't. 96 withered plants? No way we can build that. Eight long strings, that's hard to come by. So essentially this is like a homemade um, sledgehammer. Uh, but we're not going to be able to make that. No way. That is a, that's a lot of, uh, lot of resources to, to tie that down. Uh, much more likely to be able to make the makeshift crowbar. Um, nail bat, not going to be able to make that. I'm just having a look at the bash potential right now. So the 2 by sword does 12. Uh, the makeshift crowbar does 12 as well. The 2 by sword is pretty basic and easy for us to make, but the crowbar is actually, uh, it's, it's got utility to it. Not that I, well, we could come across crates, so it's, it's possible. It does mean using the only pipe we have to smash into a crowbar, which I am, uh, mm, I'm unsure of. Yeah. Hmm. That is a tough one. It is a tough one. But it, it does seem to be the best that we have so far, right? Because we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to find a baseball bat or carve a baseball bat uh, to be able to do that. So I think that's probably going to be the best choice for us because this is not a possibility. Um, that's not going to happen. Eight long strings. That's that's seriously resource heavy. Seriously resource heavy. So I think I think going for the makeshift crowbar is worth us having a go at it to see if we are able to crack this rock or not. And we make it easily enough. So let's go ahead and wield that makeshift crowbar for now. Storing our spear knife in our inventory. And we're just gonna have a wander on down. It is bright enough out that we can see what's going on. So we're gonna try and find a smaller boulder. And we know that there are some in the field here. I'm wondering if it's worthwhile us actually making a torch. Well, I can, I can kind of semi follow our way back using the map but just wandering like this isn't the easiest way for us to actually find a bloody boulder I know that they're out here but I just can't remember where so if I kind of do like a grid pattern search I think that will help um, we might as well pick up the sharp rock it can be used in recipes where you do need a rock so hmm I'm just kind of zigzagging down right now hoping that I'll catch at least a little bit of a sight of one Oh dear. Not as easy as I thought. Oh, beaver. Oh, you're hostile to me straight away, are you? Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run to back up here. Um. Let's see. Drop you. Um. Let's just go throw, and we're actually gonna throw one of our throwing sticks at him. Okay, we uh we missed quite badly, it would seem. Throwing stick. It is very dark at the moment as well. 
Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. 15 damage, not bad. Okay. Reflected off its thick hide, that's okay. Oh, did I, I throw, I, did I throw, I think I threw the sling at him. Yeah, that's my bad, I did. Nearly dead. Oh, there we go, hell yes. Okay, way to go. Excellent. Okay, well let's grab everything back up again. Uh, no, let's just grab the sticks instead. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, bit butcher, stop butchering, yes. Okay, so we've got another beaver coming for us now. We're gonna use the throwing sticks again. It avoids the projectile. Okay, all right, he's here to attack. So we're gonna back up. I'm gonna see if we can wield that uh, knife spear in time. It's gonna take a little bit for us to get it out. So we're gonna back up and we're gonna take a shot at him. Oh, so actually we can't go across. Okay, we can go like that. Oh, backing up. Okay, backing up again. There we go, nice. Pass the beaver, fantastic. Okay, all right. Uh, drink some of our water. I do need to do something about that though. We need to have more. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we'll take that. We'll take the stomach as well, because it's like, why not? Uh, we'll take the offal and you. Did we get any sinew from you? Probably not. We don't have the best butchering tools with us. No, nope. that's the lot. I would like to be able to grab you throwing stick if we could. So I might just see if we can drop something else. Um, drop that. Enough? Yes, just enough. Okay, great. Catch our breath. Our breath gave out for a moment then. Okay, let's just start walking. But we do need to get back home. Let's see. Our hands are cold. Our head is cold. Um, are our feet cold? No. So I'm going to focus, I think, I'm going to focus on the hands. I'm going to focus on making us some those light gloves because that's going to help us out. And we might even be able to wear those leather wraps over it. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? It's a medium boulder. Wouldn't you know? Okay, well, let's give it a go. As soon as we're out here, we're going to take the makeshift crowbar. Just drop the knife spear for now. And we'll give it a crack. So there are smaller boulders, so I imagine, yeah, we don't seem to be damaging it. Okay, all right, that's all right. So we'll head on back. Um, wield that knife spear for now. Oh, okay, or not. Uh, right, okay. Oh, no, apparently we can fit it in there. Oh, no, what have I done? There we go. Page down apparently swaps the way the uh, menu is kind of orientated. So we know that there's a medium boulder down there. What we need to try and find is a small boulder because I'm pretty sure there are small boulders and uh, that we might be able to crack open and crack into a number of rocks. Crossing my fingers on that one because that would be nice. Okay, we don't want to spend the entire night awake. We do want to try and go to sleep uh, eventually here, but we have some meat on us, which would be nice to try and treat, but um, I don't know how much of a chance we have of doing that really. I'm gonna drop the bone and the withered plant up there. We're gonna go ahead and drop the meat on the square here. Uh, we do need to do something about our water though. Uh, we, we need more water um, and that's our last heavy stick. So we're gonna have to just uh, go and cook up as much as we can in this time. Uh, we've still got cooked food. So I think I am just gonna go straight for the water in this scenario. Yeah, cause we can't make any soups or anything like that. So if I go for 20, it's gonna take 25 minutes. That's not too bad. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead, pour it into there and pour it into another sealed stomach and pour it into another. Perfect, okay, so we actually still have a little bit of heat left over in the fire, so we might as well spin that by making some cooked meat uh, or cooked offal. Let's go for the offal, because again, like I said, it just gives us more. Okay. All right, we drop it on the ground. All right, well, let's see if we can eat the hot offal because we're gonna be going to sleep, so I'm not super concerned about us um, being upset about it. Let's drink one of our sealed stomachs. We'll go for the smaller one for now. Okay, all right, it's liked. Brilliant, okay, so we're comfortable, but our temperature is falling right now. Um, I was really hoping to be able to have the fire going a little bit longer for us to be able to make ourselves some gloves. Can we still make gloves? Yes, we can. Pair of light gloves. It only takes 10 minutes, so it wouldn't take much of a fire to get that going. So let's just go grab a heavy stick. Uh, we know that we can get heavy sticks by destroying trees, so let's wield our makeshift crowbar for a moment. 
dropping the knife spear. Oh no! Shoot! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We needed to have that. Disarm the light snare. I'm an idiot. We need to have that close to there. So let's go ahead and activate the light snare kit, putting it down there and dropping our wild vegetables on that spot. Yeah, don't smash the tree that the snare is attached to. Okay, there we go. Heavy stick, that's what we're after. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to grab both here. Let's just leave the makeshift crowbar there for a second. I will come back for it. Um, just drop the stick in there. Uh, weapons, heavy stick. There we go. And this is just so I don't forget about it. Grab that makeshift crowbar. Alright, okay. Get this thing started. Use the fire drill. Brilliant. And let's go make some gloves. Much needed gloves. Hands. Brilliant. Light gloves, 10 minutes. This should be possible for us to do. Uh, brilliant, we did it. Okay, wear. Light gloves. Excellent. So let's go to our hands. Let's see. They're not super encumbered right now, so that's good. Looks like we can get away with wearing both. Um, and I think we want to have those on the inside and have the wraps over the outside of them. So we should be feeling much better than we were before. We're happy. We have a chilly head. Unfortunately, there's not much else we can do about the head right now. Um, that is it, isn't it? Hooded hat. Ooh straw hat and it's using the bandana to make a hooded hat okay interesting how does that affect the warmth because you can use a straw hat to be able to do this it takes 45 minutes really interesting a proper wide brimmed hat modified by the addition of a hood sewn to it to better protect the neck from wind and rain i like it um we'll see if we can make it um It'll improve our tailoring skill as well. It's going to take us a while for us to do it, but that's okay. And it's going to combine the bandana and the hat. So our mouth is going to be a little less protected than before, but that's okay. So we're going to use the rag nearby. Or, hang on, did it... Oh. Mm, we failed. We failed, and I think we lost our straw hat from that. That's annoying. That's really annoying. I'm really dark about that. God damn it. And did we lose the band? No, we still have the bandana, because I don't think we were actually using the bandana. I think we decided to use the rags instead. Um, that's really frustrating we lost the hat. It's not the end of the world, but it's still frustrating because it was giving us a little bit of protection for our head. Right now, we have nothing that we can make that's going to be able to protect our head. No, nothing. Crap. Difficulty is one, so it's really not that difficult. But it's difficult enough that it's uh, caused us to lose our hat. So we're going to have to try and make another one of those straw fedoras. Um, straw fedoras? No, it was just a straw hat. It wasn't a fedora. Um, so coming across some more birch trees will be really, really helpful. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to come across more out there because, uh, yeah. God damn. Getting that tailoring skill up is uh, something that I think we need to put a little bit of priority into, just a little bit, but uh, at the same time I want to try and see if we can find a uh, a boulder in the morning, because to be able to smash that and get some rocks would be fantastic. We are going to go to sleep now, um, and we'll see how our man does during the night. We are chilly, but we aren't like freezing, and we actually did sleep through most of the night, and it looks like we might be sleeping through... Oh no, that's good. So we wake up because it's too bright, and I'm actually happy that we did, because otherwise we'd be wasting too much time. Um, so, let's see. What is going to rot? Okay, so those stomachs are going to rot within eight hours. It would be good to be able to use those. Let's eat the offal first of all, and then let's have some meat afterwards. Um, it's It's gone cold now, but there's not much else that we can do about that. It's fine. Cooked meat. Uh, no, let's not overdo it. Um, we are close to finishing today's episode, but I do want to go out with the... Um, uh, makeshift crowbar to see if we're able to actually smash one of these rocks okay so we are apparently over encumbered at the moment or at least we would be if we had that knife spear with us as well so let's go drop the fire drill up the top for now 
the hand axe will hold on to. Um, that might mean that we can leave the stone at no, the stone knife still is butchering, yep. So that's the reason we need to keep that around for now. If we did have boots, actually we do have boots. So we can probably put the knife in the boots. So if we go over here, um, and change you to B, and, uh, I don't think we need to change the knife. So if I just go activate B, oh, wait, we can't activate our boots. Usually you can activate the boots and put a knife in your boots. I cannot do that with these boots. Activate. You can't do anything interesting with your hiking boots. Weird. You used to be able to put knives in a boot. Maybe the stone knife doesn't count? I don't know. Well, that sucks. Okay, anyway, carrying on, we are going to see if we can see any smaller boulders. Okay, so right away I'm seeing a rock, which I'm going to get. How did I miss that? Unless they respawn, which is possible. Um, so that, as we can see, there is a boulder down there. Uh, we have some paper down there as well. And oh, nice. As you can see, it's sunny. It's very, very bright out. Uh, and the glare is actually making it hard to see. You know what would be great right now? A hat. A hat would be brilliant, but we don't have one. Okay, I think that might be a smaller boulder down there. No, it's a rock. Oh, yes, and it is actually a smaller boulder. So we'll go ahead and take both. Take the rock, and let's see. This is a small boulder. If we have a chance of breaking... Oh, look at that. We've got six rocks. Okay. Yay. Can we not grab all the rocks? Uh, we can't. Okay, so... Oh, it's the water that's actually going to be weighing us down so much, because water is actually quite heavy. Uh, well, that's really good to know that we can smash those small rocks and we get six from them. Uh, that's right, rather the small boulders. So that's something that's a little easier for us to look out for. Uh, we are going to leave our sealed stomach behind because this is the large one. We'll just go ahead and take a small one with us. Um, where are you? Though? Where are you at, though? Okay. You're not around? Well, I know you're around somewhere. The question is where? Sealed stomach of clean water. There we go. We'll take the uh, one that's got six in. No, we'll take the one that's three. Use that one first. Um, we're going to go back and grab those rocks. And then have a look and see if we can spot any others. Any other small boulders lurking around. That we can crack into a million pieces. Um, yeah, we'll see if there are any along here. I should be able to kind of see them on the mini-map if I can identify what they look like. I doubt that we're going to have minis just straight along the front here. There are chances there, though. Mm. Okay, giant wasp, where? Okay, so he's, he's getting a little closer nowadays. He's, he's still floating around the kind of center, so as long as we kind of stick to the coast, we should theoretically be semi-okay. I can see him. Just need to try and avoid him. Okay, so that's a medium boulder, I'm pretty sure, but there are two rocks up there that I would very much like to get my hands on. Um, oh no, that's a small boulder. Perfect, that's what we're after. But it is semi-close to where that wasp is. Uh, do you have to be so close? There we go. Grab all the rocks. Brilliant. Okay, how many do we have on us right now? Nine. Okay. That's a, that's a start. I would love to get those rocks that are sitting there, but they are too close. Too close right now. That's a large boulder. Okay. Just keeping those eyes peeled. Both for boulders and for uh, bad guys. It's actually quite hard to see any boulders when it's that zoomed out. It's hard to tell what most things are. Um, also, if we see any birch along the way, if we see any birch bark at all, I'm going to be going for it. That's another large one up there, I'm pretty sure, or, or at least a medium. Uh, large boulder. What is that one there? Large. Damn, doesn't look large. Oh, oh well. What can you do? I'm not going to argue. These are all pine. Nothing in this little forest here. No birch. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's actually, the f I think, the furthest we've made it along. This is the furthest we've explored down along this coast. We'll explore a little bit further. Um, Jord Terra. Ah, cool. Zombie shark. Yeah, great. Aggressive, hungry bull shark. This jawed terror is now even more aggressive, possibly thanks to its lack of a functional brain. Cool. Just stay, stay in the water, yo, and we'll be happy. That's going to be eating up everything around here. Jawed terror. Nice. Very nice. Okay, grab that rock there. That takes us up to ten. Brilliant. 
Uh, can I grab these seeds here or pick them? It's probably... There's a strawberry bush. And no, we cannot get them now. A lot of rats kicking about. We've got another rock. Uh, that's the jawed terror again. Okay, another rock down there. And there's actually a sharp rock along the way, so I'm going to grab that as well. Just because... Well, the rock gathering mission has gone pretty well so far. We're up to 12, so we're we're on our way. We're on our way to actually having a proper campfire. What the hey is that? Just a sharp rock? Are you sure that's just a sharp rock? That jawed terror wants us bad. You're actually... Oh, there's three of them. Holy crap. Um, is that really just a sharp rock? It doesn't look like one. It looks like there's something else on the square, right? What is going on there? You see a sharp rock. Is it just on top of something weird? I don't know. Let's just drop the sharp rocks to the ground for now. Oh, it's on top of just some flowers and stuff. Okay. We could try and kill one of the jaw terrors by throwing our sticks at them. It would give us a chance to improve our skill with our throwing stick. As long as it can't throw them back. You know? It will be a little bit difficult to get them back, though. That's the only thing. Oh, nice. We hit it. No. Okay, it's going to be quite difficult to get these back. <laughs> we need to essentially lure them away to be able to get down to those sticks. Okay, but more rocks, though. Uh, we know that we are getting low on space, though, is the only issue. It's just a squirrel. It's just a squirrel. Okay, so we've got another forest down that way. We've seen a little bit more of our surroundings, but I think we are going to head back and attempt to grab those sticks. Ah, uh, you're not going to make it this easy for me, am you? No, you're not. Oh, it stopped raining. Well, it did for a second. Oh, no, it's just while I'm passing the turns. Ah, oh, you dick. Because if we get one square close... Oh, actually, you know what? If we stand here... Oh, we don't have... We do have... No, we don't have the nice spear. Crap! Because if we had the nice spear, we'd be able to just, like, practice spearing it from the water. Uh, and then we could kill it that way. Uh, I think it might actually be the only way for us to get our throwing sticks back. While it's jetting around like- Oh god, okay, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Just get away from the water. Get away from the water! What am I doing? Oh, it hit our torso. We're okay, we're okay, we're not bleeding. But it's, it's, it, it did kind of semi-beat itself for a second then. Let's not do that. That's not a great idea. We're going to go back and get the stone spear, drop off these rocks. But guys and gals, that is going to be in the next episode. Thank you all for joining me for another I Have Been Rikon. This has been Leif. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.